Donating an organ is one of the most life-affirming things anyone can do. The act of giving and receiving is a time filled with intense loss and new hope. Everyone copes differently, but tonight we bring you the story of one family from Spruce Grove, Alberta, who lost their little boy but saved another life halfway across the country. Sue Lingo reports. Brayden Johnson was born with hydrocephalus, too much fluid in his brain. He had severe disabilities all of his life, but that didn't keep him out of trouble. Like he would come up and maybe pull your hair and then just laugh. <laughs> Being around him was just constant, constant happiness, sunshine, rainbows, stuff like that. At age 12, complications landed Brayden in the hospital. What was supposed to be a one-night stay became the last day of his life. Doctors pronounced him brain dead. His mother Sherry says only one thing could numb her pain that day, thinking about organ donation. I said, you know, we need to do something with this. We can't just let this go the way it is. We need to do something good. At the same time, halfway across the country, Nancy Neville was waiting for a transplant and losing hope. They said, based on your health right now, you probably have two years to live. This mother of two had severe pulmonary fibrosis. <laughs> my lung cavity shrunk from my disease, so I couldn't accept an adult lung. I had to wait for a child's lung. On January 23, 2008, Austin Johnson saw his twin brother for the last time. I remember when they were even taking him off for the surgery to do the organ donation. Like, I remember waving goodbye to him and stuff, okay. telling him, like, yeah, you know, you're going to go on and be helping these people. His family donated yeah. Braden's heart, kidneys, liver, small bowel, and lungs. Nancy Neville was wheeled into surgery the next day. Within weeks, the new lungs made her feel like a new person. When I was walking by myself, that's when I knew it was going to be okay. More than three years later, Nancy's story was featured in an Ottawa newspaper. Sherry's relatives sent her the article, and she contacted Nancy through Facebook. Hi Nancy, my name is Sherry and I read the article in the Ottawa News about the lung transplant. I'm not sure what your thoughts will be when I tell you that I am that 12-year-old boy's mom. And if you are interested in knowing more about us, I will wait to hear from you. Take care. Not your average Facebook friends. These moms share a deeper connection, Braden's gift. I had 12 amazing years with my boy and what we did for other people now, they're going to get more years with their loved ones. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Sulingo, Global News.